Without a doubt, a world crisis is at hand, and everywhere men are alarmed. But God is not. He is never taken by surprise. It is no unexpected emergency which now confronts him, for he is the one who worketh all things after the counsel of his own will. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 11. Hence, though the world is panic-stricken, the word to the believer is, Fear not. All things are subject to his immediate control. All things are moving in accord with his eternal purpose, and therefore all things are working together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. It must be so, for of him and through him and to him are all things. Romans chapter 11 verse 36. Yet how little is this realized today, even by the people of God? Many suppose that he is little more than a far distant spectator, taking no immediate hand in the affairs of earth. It is true that man is endowed with power, but God is all-powerful. It is true that, speaking generally, the material world is regulated by law, but behind that law is the lawgiver and the law administrator. Man is but the creature. God is the creator in endless ages before man first saw the light. The mighty God, Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6, existed, and ere the world was founded, made his plans. And being infinite in power, and man only finite, his purpose and plan cannot be withstood or thwarted by the creatures of his own hands. We readily acknowledge that life is a profound problem, and that we are surrounded by mystery on every side. But we are not like the beasts of the field, ignorant of their own origin and unconscious of what is before them. No, we have also a more sure word of prophecy, of which it is said, Ye do well that ye take heed, as unto a light that shineth in a dark place, until the day dawn and the day star arise in your hearts. Second Peter chapter 1 verse 19 and it is to this word of prophecy we indeed do well to take heed, to that word which had not its origin in the mind of man, but in the mind of God. For the prophecy came not at any time by the will of man, but holy man of God spake, moved by the Holy Spirit. We say again, it is to this word we do well to take heed. 